Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take this problem from functional equation. Here we have f of x defined as a x to the power of 2 plus b times x plus c. We know that f of x minus 1 plus f of x plus f of x plus 1 is x squared plus 1 and we need to find f of 2. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem. I'm going to start with defining what we have for f of x minus 1 and f of x plus 1. Based on the equation, I just need to replace x with x minus 1 and x plus 1. So let's start with that. f of x minus 1 is going to be a times x minus 1 to the power of 2 plus b times x minus 1 plus c and obviously f of x plus 1 is going to be something similar but this time I'm going to use x plus 1 so let's write that and then take the next step which is going to be simplification I'm going to rewrite everything based on x only to do this let's focus on the first one I have f of x minus 1 defined as what you see here. So let me change the pen and then simplify this and write it as what you see here. a times x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus b times x minus 1 plus c. And then after simplification, you see that I have a x squared minus 2a minus b times x plus a minus b plus c. You can simply verify this because you have this negative 2 here and then you have this negative b here and everything is going to be similar. So let me write f of x minus 1 here again. And if I do the same thing, but this time for f of x plus 1, you see that f of x plus 1 is going to be ax squared plus 2a plus b times x plus a plus b plus c. Now, from what I have here, you can say that if I add f of x minus 1 and f of x plus 1 we will end up with removing this b and then we can say that basically we have 2 a x squared and then I need to remove this 2 a and then I will have plus 2 b x plus 2a plus 2c so let's go back to what we had for the definition of f of x from here you can say that this is basically 2 times f of x plus 2a I can say this and this one here is going to be 2 times f of x now that we have this, I can do some more simplification. Remember from the equation that we have from the problem, we have f of x minus 1 plus f of x plus f of x plus 1 is given as x squared plus 1. On the other hand, we found that f of x minus 1 plus f of x plus 1 is 2 times f of x plus 2a so this is from here and the first one is from the equation from the problem itself now if you compare these you can say that basically i have 3 times f of x plus 2a as x squared plus 1 
This is basically very easy to verify. I just used what I have here for these two and then I have three times f of x plus 2a is x squared plus 5. Now, obviously, the first step that I'm going to take from here is to write f of x as x squared over 3 plus 1 minus 2a over 3. And then I'm going to say that x squared over 3 plus 1 minus 2a over 3 is basically a x squared plus bx plus c. Since we know that f of x is given as this quadratic equation. Now comparing the values that I have, you can verify that there is no coefficient for x here. So b needs to be 0. Then a needs to be 1 over 3 and c needs to be 1 minus 2 times a, which is going to be 2 times 1 over 3 over 3, which is going to be 1 over 9. So I have b, a, and c here. And I can say that the equation that I have for f of x is 1 over 3 x squared plus 1 over 9. Now we need to find f of 2. And f of 2 means that I just need to replace x with 2. It's going to be 4 over 3 plus 1 over 9, which is going to be 9. And then 12 plus 1 or 13 over 9. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, maths involved activities, and problems from different mass competitions, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel and I hope to see you in the next video.